Hi, I'm Ali and a warm welcome to Face Yoga Master. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you how to reduce those fine lines and wrinkles on the forehead using the Garsha tool. We're going to do some great massage exercises and then finish off with an all important lymphatic drainage release. So first things first, I like to sit down, feet firmly on the ground and shoulders nice and relaxed. And as you can see, I have no product on my skin, so I really like to start with clean skin and clean fingers. Now, I am going to use a form of slip with this. So I'm using some facial oil here, just so we're not compromising the skin by dragging and pulling. If you have your own face cream, that's fine too. Just something also which will also penetrate into the skin whilst we're using the garsha tool. So we're almost double bubbling, if you like. And whatever you place on your skin will penetrate even better. So let's just first apply all along the forehead area, side of the ears and down to the side of the neck, down to the collarbone. Now the Garshua tool I'm using today is a jade roll, a uh, jade quartz, sorry, and I absolutely love the jade. And as you see, it's quite a large one and it's got this part here, almost like a top of a love heart. And then the, we're going to use this part here as well. Now, first of all, I'm placing my finger on the bridge of my nose as an anchor and using this part here, literally from the third eye, I like to slowly work my way in an upwards motion towards the hairline. And then once you get to the hairline, just give it a little wiggle and then work our way along. Now, you can do these massage exercises two or three times a day, obviously, depending how much time you have. And I like to use it. I like to have my tool quite, quite flat actually. And you just want to be quite mindful. And to the temple. And then we'll work to the other side again, placing almost under the eyebrow as an anchor and slowly gliding. Now with my tool, you also want to make sure with your gasha that it's clean. So after you've used it, I do like to rinse mine in soapy water and then give it a final rinse in cool water. And then another wiggle there. So now we're going to use this part here and I'm just placing again, hand as an anchor and starting literally just across the middle and then we're just gently gliding all the way along to the temples and give another massage and this really does help smooth out any fine lines and wrinkles as well as also helping the nervous system so we calm nicely down particularly if you've had a busy day and it's the end of the day again slightly glide and along and one last time now with the tool, we can also do a little bit of fascia release. So we can tend to have quite tight fascia and we can actually release it using the tool. And you could use the end here, but I'm going to use again this sort of part of the top part of the love heart. So again, place as an anchor. I just like to just massage in lots of different directions, particularly if you have a stubborn line, you can just really get in there. And I'm using a kind of a light, light to medium touch. You don't want to go too heavy handed. Again, lots of directions there. Just breaking down any tight fascia. It's a really nice massage. And then on the other side, again, just lots of different directions. And then holding down all the way along. And then to finish off, again, we're just smoothing out very slow and mindfully towards the temples from the middle of the forehead. And along again. And again, on the other side. So now I like to just take my fingers and just massage the side of the temples and glide down the side of the ears and almost take your fingers come down down to this big SEM muscle and glide down lightly and we're just moving literally lymph toxins and waste within the lymph 
literally with the fingers and also with the garsha tool. So let's just do a little bit of lymphatic drainage release. So we've moved some lymph around this area, so we now need to release it. So I'm taking my fingers and I do like to massage the top of the ears to the bottom and then back up again. Again, quite lightly. And then just move along all the way along the neck, the nape of the neck. You may want to swallow as well as you feel things moving around. And then when the fingers are touching, just gently glide down from the nape of the neck all the way down this, again, this big SCM muscle, the side of the neck down to the collarbone. And then from the, from the chin all the way down, you just want to give a few gentle presses. 